I want to take a look at a clip that went viral uh, wherein a Fox host tells young people essentially start an OnlyFans rather than complaining about money. Now, let me give you the context. We're talking about uh, Jesse Waters. He's a Fox host. And he was reacting to a video of what I guess we would call a uh, frustrated young person. And Jesse's advice is sell pictures of your feet. Now, sell pictures of your feet. It's understood to basically mean start an OnlyFans, which is a website that um, I hope I'm explaining it correctly, allows people to charge for what are often sexually charged pictures. I don't know that it's literally a porn site, but you can charge and have subscribers for for sexually charged pictures. That is uh, Jesse Waters suggestion. Take a look at this. So younger Americans are now complaining about being an adult in the Biden economy. And guess what? It's your fault. I work five days out of the week, 40 hours a week. OK, I do not make enough to live on my own. You have 20 years of experience in a career that has allowed you to gain raises, to get more money, to profit you in an economy that you created. I don't want to work my tail end off, wasting all of my life working. You let the economy turn into what it did. You let it all run to hell. <laughs> Does she have a point or not? No. OK, and I'm going to give her a heads up. OK, she's using social media all wrong. She shouldn't be yelling at old people. She should be selling them pictures of her feet. <laughs> <laughs> she would own that Walmart. She wouldn't be wearing that vest. Right, that's how you make money in this economy. Thank you. And, and old people didn't have that. This is where social media screwed up young people. Yeah, because they're comparing their lives to everybody else. And it's denying them the perspective that everybody bowling who's truly bowling on social media, which is like 2%. OK. But everybody who's bowling busted their ass. OK, I drove a cab 20 hours a day, did stand up at night. You know what I didn't do during those 20 hour work days? Stop and complain on TikTok. So this is a, and, and that's a Jesse Waters guest, Jimmy Fila, who is um, suggesting that uh, it, it, the, these young folks, if they're upset about their financial situation, they should they shouldn't be mad at older people. They should start selling pictures of their feet, a.k.a. start an OnlyFans. You know, it, it's uh, there are. Two things can be true at the same time. OK, it's possible that there is a work ethic problem among a certain generation. I'm not saying there is. I actually don't know about it to, to really be able to say Gen Z doesn't want to work or they do want to work. I have no idea. OK, it's possible that there is a work ethic issue, but that the work ethic issue is caused by the seemingly pointless nature of toiling in minimum wage jobs when the cost of living has gone nuts, student debt has gone crazy. It seems like a mathematical impossibility to ever pay off the student loan debt with the job that you got after getting out of college that doesn't pay nearly enough to even afford a one bedroom apartment where you live. So it, I, Again, I'm not doing the thing. I think it was one of the Kardashians who got caught. Oh, nobody wants to work or I'm not doing that. I'm saying even if it were true that there were a work ethic issue, it's possible that it is a, a, a an accurate reflection of people saying, OK, here's what college costs. Here's the debt. Here's the job that's available. Here's what housing costs. I'm in a 40 year hole in the best case scenario and reacting in a way that would be logical based on the facts. Now, I don't think that Jimmy Fila and Jesse Waters really care about that conversation. Um, this this is just this is a classic from from right wingers. People who don't have enough money should pull themselves up by their bootstraps. Even poor people in the United States are doing fine. If people are poor, it's thanks to uh, their uh, own lack of work ethic or determination or whatever the case may be. There are no systemic issues in society. Everything's in individualized. All things we know are completely and patently untrue. I don't think these are serious arbiters of what is plaguing the economy. But it is interesting because you will then see these sorts of talking points reflected at Trump rallies when voters are interviewed or others who say, listen, people just have to decide, like, you, you got to work. I worked. I worked my way through college. You know, Tom Hartman has uh, told a very interesting story before about his wife, Louise, where he said, you know, Louise worked her way through college, but college was relatively 
so much cheaper when she did it that it was mathematically possible. How are you going to work your way through 50 grand a year or even way more? Right. I mean, I'm just throwing out 50 grand a year. Uh, I know there are places where we're, we're talking about 84 grand a year. How are you going to work your way through that at a job, even if it pays fifteen dollars an hour and you work? 15, 20 hours a week during the school year and full time or full time plus during the summer, the math simply doesn't add up. So I think most people here know that. But now the the callous nature and by the way, not everybody's feet are interesting enough, I think, to make money on OnlyFans, although maybe there are maybe the feet people, maybe all feet are created equal. I really don't know. But a very uh, it, it's not like, yes, it's callous, but it's also painfully disconnected from the reality of how wages and so many other things have become uh, completely unaligned. So there's advice. That's the advice from Fox News. Uh, I would have sort of different advice and may maybe I'll, I'll give that advice someday. Let's take a quick break. So much on the Friday show back right after this. Breaking a deeply ingrained habit is one of the toughest things to do. Our sponsor fume can make it easier. Not everything in a bad habit is wrong. So instead of a drastic, uncomfortable change, remove the bad from the habit. And that's quite frankly what fume helps you do. Fume is an innovative award winning device that delivers flavored air. That's it. There's no vapor. There's no nicotine, no electronics. It's just delicious flavored air delivered by the cylindrical fume device that fits in the palm of your hand. It comes in tasty, refillable flavors like raspberry, lemon, orange, vanilla, grapefruit, crisp mint. The fume device goes in your pocket. You can carry it around. It has movable parts and magnets. So if you're fidgeting or want to, it's great for that. And it's just a useful thing to break bad habits. And it provides that perfectly satisfying hand to mouth mechanic that many people love. Don't judge fume until you've tried it. They have helped countless people make positive changes and you could be next. A special deal right now. All orders placed until January 31st. Get buy one, get one flavor cores. Plus, you'll get an extra 10 percent off the journey pack starter kit. Just go to try fume dot com slash Pacman and use the code Pacman. The link is down below.